Thank you, Chris. Continuing coverage of that storm. We followed the storms as they barreled through, like you can see right here in this time lapse video. Tonight, TV5's Raven Blue hears from people who ran for cover as they saw this overhead. When the sirens were going off, you could see all the campers just kind of like looking around, waiting for something to come in. My sister and her grandchildren were already in the basement, and so I figured it was about time to go in. Uh, didn't want to get flown away like Dorothy. Severe weather in mid-Michigan sending residents and visitors looking for shelter Tuesday afternoon after the National Weather Service issued a tornado warning. As soon as we heard the sirens going off, I literally grabbed my mom and my boyfriend and also my brother and we hopped in the car and we went over to the restrooms for safety and we saw the rangers coming and they were all fleeing also. Strong winds and rain snapping tree branches. The consumer's energy outage map showing thousands across the region without power. There was a lot of wind and and noise. There was a branch that had fell on my nephew's deck. My sister's house, uh, the children's playhouse, there was a tree that fell on that. Residents in Pink Conning saying first responders are working to clear some of the debris. Pink Conning uh, Fire Department Township, they're out uh, all over uh, with chainsaws, they're clearing roads and streets. It has not been confirmed if a tornado touched down, but many are thankful their loved ones are okay. I'm just glad everybody's safe. In Bay County, Raven Blue, WNEM TV5.